What is up, YouTube Nation? It's your girl Tay, and I am back with yet another video on whatever. <laughs> First and foremost, I'd like to thank my fan bam, aka my loyal subscribers, aka the type that got my back, like chiroprac. Y'all know I love y'all 24-7, 365, 366 in a leap year. Now, for those of you who may be new to the channel, whether I came up in your recommendations or a friend told a friend who told a friend who told you, let me help you find out how you become a part of the fan bam too. It's not hard. You ain't got to get married. You don't have any kids. Real simple. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button one time for the one time. And once you're done there, go ahead and slide a little bit over to the right and tap that notification bell. That way you're notified every time on time when I upload a video. Now that we got all that technical stuff out the way, let's talk about why we really here, shall we? So today we are gonna be talking about how I apply my lace wigs using the Meltdown Extreme Hold Lace Wig Glue. In this tutorial, I'm gonna tell you all the tools I use, nothing super fancy or high priced, and how I do each step, super quick, super simple i want to say it didn't take me more than 30 minutes to apply it and it bonded what feels like to me almost instantly so just a sneak peek into the review i'm all the way here for this product with that being said however if you're curious to see how i got this thing as snug as a bug in a rug Check out my right, video. So I start by pinning all the hair around the perimeter back into the wig because you don't want it falling into the adhesive while you're installing it. I mean, every baby hair, sideburn, whatever it is, pin it back. Then I'm just gonna place the wig on my head and size it up, cut it where I need to cut it because I got a little old peanut head, y'all. My head is too big for the small size, but too small for the medium size. So I just gotta buy the medium and cut it up. That's how I get the wig to lay perfectly because a ill-fitting wig can also mess with how well it bonds. Then I clean the perimeter in front of my hairline with alcohol pads. I use a new one each time so I don't redistribute any of the dirt. So here's the glue. Next, I'm gonna show you the waxing sticks that I use. These are not arts and crafts sticks, nor are they popsicle sticks. Those sticks will splinter and you'll have pieces of wood in the glue. Trust me, I know. <laughs> so just pay the 20 bucks and get you the 100 count waxing sticks and then you can have a bunch of sticks to apply your <laughs> glue with. Now I just take about a drop of glue, literally, and spread it about an inch across the stick because you want to use a thin layer so a little goes a long way and i'm just going to reposition my wig on my head now if you are a amateur or new to wigs whatever you want to call it i recommend laying your wig and then using a makeup pencil maybe a lip liner or something like that to draw the outline of your wig and then place your glue behind the outline if you're experienced like me, then you could do it this way. I just eyeball it. It's kind of like when you watch the elders cook in the kitchen and you notice that they don't use not a measuring cup, a measuring spoon. They just dice it, tice it, slice it, and go. <laughs> That's how I am with my wig. I pretty much lay it where I want to and then just lift it up and go from memory. I ain't saying it's the right way. I'm saying it works for me. If you decide to still do it this way and you make a mess, the cleanup during installation hands down the best I've seen across the board because as y'all can see I got a little bit extra on my forehead maybe my hand slip I don't know what was going on y'all see me just take that alcohol pad and wipe it off and it's clean not oh I smeared it and it got residue like my skin is clean now you see how quickly that this glue is drying Y'all, this clip wasn't sped up. This is the normal speed. Y'all saw me just lay it and you see it drying clear that fast. All right, so y'all are gonna see me repeat what I did in the beginning of the video where I just keep laying 
each la thin layer. I'm gonna do five of each for each section. And I lay my wig in pieces, because even though I'm confident in my application, I still know I got like a funny shaped head. <laughs> so I have to take my time, because in the past, when I've tried to rush and do big sections, my lace ends up with wrinkles and it's just not a good time. <laughs> so if I'm saying this as somebody with experience, if you are new to this, you definitely want to do it in smaller sections. Now the forehead one's a little easier because it's one big shape, but when we start working the dips and grooves and curves of the hairline, I suggest you slow it down. Did I just Millie Rock? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Now, uh, you see me laying the wig, but you're gonna see me lift it up. It hasn't quite bonded yet, thank goodness, so I have enough time to fix it. And I'm actually glad that this happened so I could show you all on camera. A lot of YouTubers show you the afterthought where it looks perfect and then you sitting at home and the minute you mess up, you feel like, oh, I can't do it because I'm having trouble already. I'm gonna show y'all what it's really hitting for. <laughs> so I have relayed this wig probably about three or four times my glue still looks nice. It doesn't look like it's been attached and ripped up, and y'all know what that looks like. But it doesn't look like that, which means I still have time to correct it. Notice I'm being very gentle. Remember those wrinkles I was talking about when you don't lay your wig properly? Whoop, there it is. <laughs> so you're gonna see me gently lift the wig and fix it because I just wanna make sure I don't rip the layers of adhesive up. If I go to tug it and it feels like it's sealed tight, I'ma just leave it and figure it out. So that's why I'm being very gentle and I'm taking my time and I look focused because I wanna make sure I'm not gonna mess with the glue's ability to bond. Also, what I forgot to mention in the beginning, clean your hands, especially your fingertips, with alcohol because your skin naturally carries oil. Oil, lint, gel, all of that stuff can interfere with how well your glue works. So if your tools are dirty, your hands are dirty, your perimeter is dirty, your glue is probably not gonna work. And if it works, it's probably not gonna work as good as it normally could because all of that stuff interferes. So make sure you consider that when you're doing your install. Keep everything as clean and free from oils and stuff like that as you can. Now see, that's what I get for being fast. <laughs> I tried to do it without outlining my wig, which I don't do anyway, but I ended up leaving like a little widow's peak of wig out. So now I gotta fix it. So this is just a different angle. You're gonna see me applying glue to the sides of my head up close, just to give you a different view. And I'm also even gonna show you how much glue I put on the stick before I spread it. Just to give you an idea, like I said, it's really just a drop. And as you saw in some of the other clips, I don't even use all of the glue on that because you want your layers to be thin. This portion of the video is 100% optional. I'm just separating the hair that I plan to swoop 
once I'm styling it. I like to do it before I tie the hair down, which is the final step in the bonding process. You tie it down for 10 minutes. I end up tying it down for the rest of the day if I'm not going anywhere or as long as I can before I style it. So like I said, I'm separating my edges from my wig before I tie it down so that it kind of naturally trains them to lay forward versus backward. And as y'all saw that bottom lip come out, it's because I forgot to lay down a sideburn. So now I gotta cut it and then lay down what's left. But I'll do that off camera. So after I get the wig bonded, I take and trim the hair that I pulled out for my edges so that again, I can train it and it'll be less work for me in the end. So I tie my hair first with a wrap strip. You can get it from any beauty supply store. I take and lay that down because it collects the excess glue and it secures the bond without interfering. Like scarves sometimes can leave fibers and lint balls and all that other stuff. So I always do a wrap strip first. Then once I lay my wrap strip down, I cover it with my satin scarf. Now the directions on here say 10 minutes, but I ended up bonding mine for about two hours because I wasn't doing anything special. Hey y'all, hey, if you gotten this far, that means you watched the entire application. I just wanna say thank y'all so much in advance. I don't just wanna tell you thank you, I wanna show you how grateful I am. And I'm asking that you do me this solid since I'm about to come out of pocket. You smell me? <laughs> get this video to 200 likes or get 200 butterfly emojis in the comment section. Now it can only be one butterfly per person but how do you get to 200 butterflies then, Tay? Share it. Get your people to come watch it. Your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your homeboy, your homegirl, your side piece, your main piece. Tell them to come check it out and comment down below. And don't just leave a butterfly. Tell me what you think. And if you've already tried the product, go ahead and put that down there. Now, once I reach 200, either 200 likes or 200 butterflies, remember only one butterfly per person, I am going to send you your very own bottle of meltdown glue. I'm going to do a video where I randomly pick the winner and then I'm going to hit you up for your contact information so I can place the order and get it out to you. And that's my way of saying thank you. If you're a YouTuber and you happen to win, feel free to hit me up for a collab. Now, outside of that part, what I'm going to do is in a week, I'm going to do a follow up video and tell y'all how it's been holding up. During that week, I'm gonna exercise in it. I'm gonna shower in it, cause it's supposed to be waterproof and humidity proof. And then I'm gonna tell y'all what it's really hitting for. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So next week, you know when the follow-up is posted. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all for free. Don't forget to check out my hair loss video and I hope y'all have an amazing day. Peace.